So today I'll just uh, demonstrate and walk through the file that I uh, used to create this simulation. First, the burger is falling down as a film solver, and this truck remove all of this potato, yeah, to stop the junk food. Again, another time. So it's falling, it's squashing. Nice. So let's go through the file. So first thing first, this is the file I used. Control G. Contain the top bun, the bottom bun the burger, the meat, the cheese, tomato, and there is also this just cancel all. So this is the plate, this is the bun, top and bottom, this is the tomato, two pieces of tomato, the standard, some lettuce, the meat itself, and the cheese and the mushroom, let's remove the one, this is the mushroom, some chips, fried, and the pins at the top of the one. So I take all of this, and I merge it here. So all of it is being merged, then fix its normal, then I transform it to a proper size and then match size to put it on the ground I went out and then through the connectivity so I'm separating each part to its uh, individual part so here I'm screw splitting so this is the top pan I place the pins, I transform it, so it will uh, fall down accordingly. Then by using vellum, first there's a vellum cloth, and uh, then being I make it very low so it will wibble, stiffness maximum, and another I used shape match with shape match I calculated the uniform and calculated the thickness mass and thickness so it will not explode it will simulate nicely and didn't play with the stretch then I back it other part I did the same the bottom one same setup and this is the meat I transform it also and back it and and uh, same thing I did for the tomato I separated them because they are two pieces so we have the first one and the second one and for this one I didn't uh, use uh, the cloth I just use shape match because it's more rigid and here Think this is the lettuce transform it but it didn't seem nicely because a lot of artifacts so I replace it with a grid oh, actually I managed to simulate it yeah I was figuring it out yeah so here it is and it is just a film uh, uh, shape match the cheese only I used uh, shape match for it and I back it and then this is the mushroom transform it and groove it and give it also a shape match and back it and the potato I'll go to the potato later so it's all backed so if I go here this is how is the setup looking 
I make space between them so they fall down so after that uh, I unpack it then in the vellum solver when it work let it then in the vellum and inside it here uh, what I did just let it uh, run or just put escape and I put a vellum constraint vellum constraint I uh, select these groups the meet the bond the top and make it glue to the mesh and the mesh. so the idea is uh, let's go here what I did because I don't want it when it fall down to slide into the ground because it, it's not attached so when it fall down and I like the bun when it fall down then it touch the mushroom and the cheese uh, glue constraint will be created same thing between the meat and the tomato and the lower part so they are attaching to each other when they touch it other, so they will not slide after that I created uh, processing and I cache it so this is the cache so I'll cache vellum let me just reload it File cache. Uh, Seeming wrong. Also here, I forget to mention that I make it collide with the plate itself. I transform it, make it smaller in size. And on the other hand, uh, when the bun is simulated, because uh, the pins that at the top of the bun, I don't want it to sim because it will take a lot of time. This is the one. So what I did, I made them. Uh, Want to form with the with the top bun, and uh, when point to form, it will just follow it like this, like this. Okay. Then here, uh, time shift was at frame uh, after frame 22, uh, it will explode. So I time shift it and switch so it will come like this and fix see it'll come like this and fix and after that i went to the potato so this is the potato i uh, transform it to the top i edit it make it separated and i copy it a couple of time and then uh, add a connectivity and copy it and copy it uh, more times to the back so and before that uh, I wanted to make it collide with the blade And I want it to collide with the result of the simulation of the villa. So I make it a VDB, quick one. So it will react with it. I went with the low resolution. And then I file cache it. I'm not sure. In the file cache, uh, there is an issue. Um, I tried not to render all of it or show all of the geometry only what is shown by the camera so what I did for that I added created a volume in this volume I choose from camera and I choose the camera I'm rendering from and uh, call it density and make the initial value 111 so whatever inside is 1 outside is 0 and quick uh, attribute triangle just to delete whatever uh, so in this uh, quick triangle if volume sample uh, uh, from line 1 volume uh, for that point number in the potato is less than one so that means it's outside the spectrum here then remove that point so that's that left me with just the po uh, potato inside the spectrum whatever the camera is seeing so I cache it 
Let me take another frame. So the, it cut. Okay, and also I made it uh, interact with the bulldozer here. So this is the bulldozer. I transform it, make it smaller. Control G. This is the. I split it because I want the wheel. The wheel, so I can rotate them. And I put just quick expression that it rotate on the Z axis. So when you look at it. rotating and I merge it with the rest now it's just rotating then I transform it I did it I selected the pocket and lower it so this is before this is after and I group it and the transformation for it to move on certain frame to start to move look like it's not sliding maybe a little bit so it will show in on certain frame camera so like this okay so I wanted only the wheels and the bucket to be in the simulation to make it easy so I make a couple of blast and I'm left with this one extrude it again and edit it and uh, create it because the potato will uh, fly here so I wanted to collide with this one so I just created small shape of it. And fix the normal and reduce it and copy the same transform just give it a second here it is small shape so this is what actually being uh, simulated okay after all of that I merge everything together and if I go up this is just a quick background and uh, camera and two lights <coughs> and I render it in mantra This is the final. Now the bulldozer will come and take them all out. Boom, like this. All being taken out by the bulldozer. This is another view. Uh, video I posted before this video. I will link it here at the top. Hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.